New research shows that the effect of AstraZeneca causes VDL to be painfully slapped. In a study of the Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines, 96.42% of people who had either vaccine developed antibodies, indeed, the antibodies were produced between 28 to 34 days from the first dose, which was hailed by academics involved in the study. Dr. Maddie Shrotri said, this is one of the earliest real-world vaccine studies in the UK, and it is fantastic news. The production of antibodies rose to 99.08% within 7 to 14 days of the second jab. With the vaccine rate surging in the UK, the production of antibodies is seen as a longer-term mark of future immunity to the virus. The data from the University College London study also supports the theory that both vaccines are highly effective against the virus, despite some skepticism over the AstraZeneca drug in Europe. The AstraZeneca vaccine would have been a tremendous help in saving lives in the EU and getting EU economies back on track, if only von der Leyen and the rest of the EU goons weren't so focused on belittling the UK rather than saving their own. In a further boost, the average age of the study was 65, meaning those most at risk and have received their vaccine may now have antibodies. Academics also reiterated the importance of receiving the second dose of the vaccine on time due to the increase in antibody production. The study from the UCL Virus Watch project also showed antibody production was higher among younger adults. However, when receiving the second dose, antibody production increased to a uniform level. Professor Rob Aldridge from the study also said, the UCL Virus Watch data shows that for older adults and for people with underlying health conditions, the antibody response is a bit weaker after the first dose of the vaccine, but strong after the second dose. The government, however, is still unsure as to the efficacy of the vaccines against the Indian variant. Studies are ongoing while surge vaccinations have been dispatched to areas such as Bolton to combat the rise in cases. There is also concern over the lack of vaccine take-up in the areas where the Indian variant has been discovered. However, one government source has claimed there have been encouraging signs that vulnerable people are now beginning to take up the vaccine. Meanwhile, the government announces that cases of the Indian strain have risen by more than 75% since Thursday. Let us be ready for another lockdown. This new wave is entirely due to Bojo's refusal to ban planes from India in order not to offend President Modi. A deal with India is more important to him than the health of the UK population. What do you think about this view? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and we can discuss. I will continuously update the latest news in the next videos. Please subscribe to the channel and follow them. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.